Thanks for watching. This is going to be a brief introduction to how to use Microsoft PowerPoint. The version of PowerPoint that we're going to be going through is, or uh, the one you're going to be seeing me use, is for Windows uh, 8. Uh, but don't worry if you're using a different version. It look uh, the functionality is pretty much the same. There are only a few new features uh, in this tutorial. If I do something that you don't have access to, please let me know in the comments, and I can show you how, uh, what some workarounds are. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the application. And the first thing when it loads is you're going to see the ability to go reference uh, old recent files or uh, create templates or uh, create a new, um, a new blank presentation. We're going to get into templates in a later edition, um, but to start off we're going to start with a blank presentation. So we'll double click on that and this is the first thing that you see. So right here uh, PowerPoint gives you the ability to kind of start with a templated uh, title and then subtitle right here. To start creating a PowerPoint you could go with something you know like my PowerPoint right here and then give it a subtitle just like that. Now this obviously is very boring. I wouldn't suggest going with anything like this, but uh, that's the way that you can, that it's as easy as that to start adding text and to do that kind of stuff with it. Uh, the very first thing you're going to want to do is usually set up your environment and get familiar with it. So if you look up here at the top you can see Microsoft's ribbon so you have home, insert, design, transitions, animations, slideshow, review, view, add-ins, and then Acrobat. Acrobat is one that uh, you may not have. Uh, I have a version of that on the computer so that one's going to be optional. Uh, but then each one of these ribbons you can see you can click on and they all have their own elements and their own features that you can uh, add in. Uh, some of them are custom, some of them uh, just come by default. You can just play around with it. One thing you can do that I find helpful sometimes, especially if you're working with a small monitor, is come up to the ribbon and then double click it. And as you can see, that actually hides all of those features and gives you more room to play with on the screen itself. If you ever want to go up and get them, you can come up and click it one time and it'll come down you know, temporarily or you could double click it and then it becomes permanent again. So you can play with that. Uh, it's very easy to be able to customize that. Microsoft did a good job on that. Uh, some of the other things that you may want to do is if you find yourself using the same features a lot, uh, you can come up to this area here on the top left hand side. It's called your quick taskbar. And so you can just come here and click on it and you can see each one of these items so you have things by default like save, email, uh, undo, redo, start from the beginning you know the just very basic kind of things if you wanted to customize this so say that you are using this to print out a lot of things you may want to put a quick print button on and it's as easy as that now you can see that that has been added to the quick access bar so you can come if you want to get rid of it. If you say, I don't really feel like I need to email anything or I don't need to save, you can click on any of the ones, even the default ones. So we'll click on save because I don't know why I would ever click that. I just hit control S, uh, click save, and now that's gone. And so you can add and remove as many of those as you want. And you can even come here for more commands and pick from a wide assortment of items. So one thing that I would use a lot is new slide. So I'm going to double click that and you see it gets added here on the right hand side. Uh, some of the other ones I may want is I had a lot of pictures so I'll double click that and add that. Um, let's see what else is there that I may want. Um, let's see shapes and then And everyone else looks like it's pretty standard. So I'll hit OK. And now you can see it's automatically added each of these items. So if I want to add a new slide, I can click that button and that's been added for me. If I want to add a shape, I click that button and now automatically I could pick from any of these type shapes right here. 
click and drag it, and I have that instantly on the screen. Um, so at using the ribbon and the quick taskbar is a great way to create some shortcuts for uh, using PowerPoint and uh, just really getting used to it and being able to play around with it a little bit. So this is an intro to PowerPoint. If you know the system and the software very well, you can skip ahead to some of the more advanced tutorials, but uh, we're going to go line by line so that you can become very familiar with how to use the software and become an expert in it. So let me know if you have any questions and we'll go from there.